Hi my Habiters, welcome back to our YouTube channel. I am Habiter Danielle and this is our extra math challenge for today. Grade 9 Mathematics, Quarter 3, Module 5. Um, the topic is Proportion. So our first problem is find the ratio of x to y in the equation 11x is equal to 9y. So, um, to find the um, ratio of x to y, we will first rewrite this here. 11, the equation here, 11x is equal to 9y. Then, our second step will be dividing them by 11y. Um, why 11y? Because um, what we are finding is x to is to y. And the fractional form of this ratio is x is to y. So in order to get our x is to y, in this equation, um, that's why I divided 11y to both sides of the equation. So now, I can cancel 11 in the left-hand side. And we now have x over y. So, in the right-hand side, I, we can cancel y and we will have 9 is to 11. So, this 9 is to 11 can be written also as 9 is to 11. So, our ratio of x to y in the equation 11x equals 9y is 9 is to 11, a 9 over 11, I mean, or 9 is to so, it's, it is said in the given that 58 of the 198 students are varsity players. So, the number of our varsity players, which we will let as letter B, will be 58. And the total number of our students is 198, which we will let as T is equal to 198. So now, in order to solve for the ratio of the non-varsity to the varsity students in simplest form, we will need to um, find or identify uh, um, through solving what is the number of non-varsity players, I mean students. So, to find the, non to the, find the number of non-varsity students, we will we will just um, non varsity player um, write one hundred ninety eight which is our no total number of students minus our total number of varsity players which is fifty eight so one hundred ninety eight minus fifty eight is one hundred forty so now one hundred forty here is our number of non varsity students. So since we have acquired the, um, the, val the number of varsity students and the number of non-varsity students, we can now solve for its ratio. So since in the problem, the first that is written is non-varsity to varsity. So in this in um, finding the ratio also, we will first write the non the number of non-varsity student. So our number of non-varsity students is 140. Then is to the number of our varsity students, which is 58. Then our next step is transform this into its fractional form when we have 140 over 58 then um, um, let's 
um, transform it into its lowest form. And its lowest form is 70. So, our next problem is the length and width of a rectangular garden are in the ratio of 4 is to 3. If the length is 24 feet, what is the width? It is, so, it is said in the problem that the ratio of our length is to width is 4 is to 3. This equation, mga cohabitors, is what we need in order to solve for the value of width, for the measurement of the width. So since the length of our rectangular garden is given, which is 24 feet, we will only need to substitute this value to this value, to L here. So 24 is to W equals 4 is to 3. So the next is we will transform it into its fractional form and we have 24 over W is equal to 4 over 3. Then cross multiply and we have 72 is to 4 W. Then divide both sides by 4 and we have W is equal to 18 feet. So 18 feet here, my cohabitors, is the width of our rectangular garden. Remember, my cohabitors, that um, the formula for finding the area of a square is A, which is area, is equal to side squared. So, um, in order to find the, the ratio of their areas, we will first need to identify the given. So, the side of our first square is 6. And the side of our second square is Seven. Since we have now identified their sides, we will solve for their respective areas. So the, so the area of the first square will be 6 squared. So 6 times 6 for 6 squared is equal to 36. And to solve for the other areas, just like we did in the first area, is 8 sub 2 is equal to 7, then square, 7 times 7 is equal to 49. So now, in the problem, um, the question is, what is the ratio of their areas? So, to solve for the ratio, we just need to write 36, then divide it by 49. Since 36 over 49 does not have a common factor, we can, um, uh, this is already its lowest term. So the answer to our problem here is 36 over 49 or 36 is to 49. So, to solve this problem, just like before, is we will need to first find it or identify it's given. So, the length, the total length of our rope, length of our rope is 72 feet. Then, the our other given is um, the ratio of our two segments is 4 is to 5. This is 5. And in order to solve for the length of the shorter segment, we will um, let this um, ratio 
or transform this ratio into 4x is to 5x. Where in x is the total length of row over total total length of um oh I mean total part is not total length it is total part total part here my cohabitors is just the sum of the two ratio, the two um, the two numbers, which is four plus five is equal to nine. So, since we have um the total number, the total length of the rope, which is seventy two feet, and the total part. which is 9, we are now able to solve for x. So x will be our total length of rope, which is 72. Then our total part is 9. Then 72 over 9 is 8. So x is equal to 8. And let's go back to this ratio. Our um, shorter segment here, my cohabitors, is 4x. See shorter segment. And since we have acquired the value of x, which is 8, we are now able to solve for the value of our shorter segment, or length of our shorter segment. So 4 times 8 is equal to 32. So our the length of our shorter segment will be 32 feet. So that's it. If you like this video, um, please don't forget to press the like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any suggestions, please don't hesitate to comment down below. And peace out. Over 29. So our um, ratio of the non-varsity to the varsity students here in simplest form is 70 over 2011.